Welcome to this teacher tutorial where I'll be describing how to make a quiz in Schoology. To create a quiz, make sure you have already created a course and then click where you want your quiz to be located. Then use the Add Materials button and select Add Test or Quiz. Name your quiz and assign points. Add a due date if you'd like and choose one of the grading categories you have created when you set up your course. You can also create a new grading category. If you didn't assign a grading category, the quiz and any question that could be auto-graded won't be scored under the gradebook. If you assigned a due date, the students will not see the actual test until you change the visibility of the test which we'll talk about later on in this video. In most situations, you should leave the default as published to students. You may wish to disable the ability for students to leave comments about the quiz when done. Click the Create button to add a new question. Click on the Add button and choose the desired question type. Currently, this feature supports the following question types true false, multiple choice, ordering, short answer essay, fill in the blank, and matching. Once you've selected a question type, you can format your question by using the text editing tools. You can also select insert content, where you can add pictures and links, an equation and symbols. The options below the question box will allow you to put in answer choices. You can assign the correct answer by clicking on the checkbox. And if you hover to the right of the answer, you'll see a pencil up here. If you choose that, you will get a rich text editor where you can format your answers. You can use the map tool and even add in a picture as an answer. Beneath the question, you can assign its point value. Each question has many options, including the option to randomize the order of the answers for that particular question, and to assign a time limit for each question. When you're done creating your question, you can return to the questions tab where you can add additional questions. The settings tab is really important. Pay careful attention to the instructions section. It lets you enter instructions that are displayed to the students before they take the test. This is also where you can change the test availability from disable to enable. Students can't take a test unless it is set to enable. Similarly, you can close a test easily by changing its status back to disable, or you can set it so students can access your test on a certain day. Or within a day frame. You can enforce a time limit on the entire quiz. And decide how many attempts each student may have.
randomizing order shuffles the order of your questions so each student will see the questions presented in a different order from his or her peers. I recommend setting your quiz as having one question per page instead of using page breaks. Page breaks are items that you will have to manually add in putting one question per page. This would limit the amount of scrolling your students will have to do. And if you choose the resumable options, students' answers are saved every time they go to the next question or page. Resumable is also a good option to change to yes if you have longer tests. If set to yes, Schoology will save each student's progress every time they advance from one page to the next, which is helpful if someone accidentally is kicked offline. Question review is really important to change the yes in my opinion. It allows students to go forward and backwards freely on the test before they submit it. If you, it is left set to no, students will not be able to go backwards in the test to review or change their answers before they submit it. Finally, determine if you want students to view submissions. These options allow students to view their submissions after they have already submitted the test or quiz. If you don't want students to have access to the questions you have asked on the test later, leave this set at no. Students will see their overall score, but not the test, their answers, or any comments you left on individual question answers. If you want students to be able to refer back to test questions, or any comments that you have left within the test, choose yes. Selecting yes with correct answers allows students to immediately see how their answers compared with the correct auto-graded answers for the test, which is very helpful for practice quizzes. After you have made these changes, make sure to save them. The preview tab lets you see the test from the student's view. And the results tab is where you can view the results which are automatically synced with the gradebook. Questions like true-false, ordering, fill in the blank, and multiple choice that you assign the correct answer to will be auto-graded. But if you included short or long answer questions, you will need to grade only those questions before student final grade on the quiz is available to them. You can change the overall point a quiz is worth based on new questions added. You can use the gearbox and then select edit. Unfortunately, the maximum points here for the quiz or test does not update automatically when you add or remove questions, but if you left this set at 100 and your test was only worth 20 points, student scores would be scaled accurately. So a student who has earned 18 out of 20 would get a scaled score of 90 out of 100. You can always go back to editing your quiz by clicking on its name. You can add in more questions or even change answers. If you change answers after the student has already taken a quiz, the student results are regraded and quickly updated in the gradebook. Try creating test or quiz in a practice course, experimenting with adding in various question types and adjusting the quiz settings. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. Thanks for watching.